time for a fall garden update. Now if you remember the last time I shot a video it was on, I believe the video was shot on the 19th, so September 19th of 2013, and I had planted about a week and a half before or a couple weeks before on September the 7th of 2013. So to give you an idea, this is a way to compare against the fall garden video and you'll see the tremendous growth that we have had over the past one week. Well, guess what, uh, YouTube? I decided to start a Mitlighter garden. And it is fall of 2013. It's my fall garden. And my goal is to do more experiments. As I've stated before, in uh, previous videos this summer has been all about experimenting for me. After two weeks and six days since planting uh, I planted all of this as seedlings with exception of the German pink tomatoes here and here. I don't know why this one did not take off but the other three certainly have. Uh, the rest of these were all planted as seedlings and I'll go through them now. <clears throat> Over here you can see that we have the kale and uh, you can see that it's doing fairly well with exception of one of them uh, right over there that didn't make it or is, very, is struggling very much. Over here is the kale in the mitlighter bed. Here we have the Georgia hybrid collards, and here is the collard. Looks a little bit larger, but not a great amount of difference. <clears throat> here we have our kohlrabi. You can even see that there's, I've been treating for um, some eggs and some bugs that are growing, or that are over here in this garden. But we have the kohlrabi. And here is the kohlrabi in the mitlighter bed. Again, not a, a great difference. Matter of fact, the mitlighter kohlrabi isn't quite as large. Uh, we also have the early Jersey Wakefield cabbage, which are not doing very well at all. I don't know why. In the mitlighter bed, Here's your early Jersey Wakefield cabbage. Big difference. Now the last but not least that I have uh, was I planted three bibbed lettuces. One there that's dead, one in the middle that's dead, and one over there that's just struggling to stay alive. I don't know why. Um, and I come back from a weekend after it rained for one day solid and these were dead. The one over there still struggling along. I've pulled off some of the dead leaves and I think it might make it. But look over here. Mitlighter uh, bib lettuce in the mitlighter bed. Massive amount of difference. Now, one of the things that I'm super excited about are my tomatoes. It's not been real warm here lately. Frankly, uh, I've been concerned that the tomatoes will make it. And I can't tell you off the top of my head which ones are which, but I have some black creme, some beef steak, and some German Johnsons on this end. And there's two Mexican midgets here. Now I will be stringing these up over the weekend, <clears throat> and it's time to thin them out. I am just blown away by the massive amount of growth that I've seen in the last three weeks from these tomatoes. I do not believe that my tomatoes grew this fast um, through the summer months, which would be even more of an optimum or an ideal um, growing period. However, they have been doing very well. So I planted two per section, and my goal was to uh, thin them out and string them up as soon as I seen which ones would be the better fit for the garden and which ones would be the most uh, um, aggressive. And so I'm doing that now. 
Again, I've only fed this, uh, fed these plants two times. Once when I planted them, and once a week ago, and I'm getting ready to feed them the third weekly feed. Um, probably tomorrow. I moved it up to Saturday instead of Sunday. So there you have it. I just thinned out the tomatoes. I clipped off one from each grouping. And you can see how incredible they're growing. And uh, again, the bib lettuce I'm very excited about because I struggled so much with the greens and the lettuce last uh, summer that I'm really excited that I'm, I'm seeing some successes with this. Oh, I almost forgot. One more thing I want to show you. I want to show you my carrots. I struggled to get these carrots to grow very well all season long. I really struggled with them, and I'd really like you to see what happened as soon as I started feeding it the Mitt Lighter Weekly Feed. I've been pulling these out a little bit at a time as we need them for eating, and I'll show you what's reflected in almost every carrot now. It's very interesting. Some of them are larger and some of them are not. Well, not a very good example for you. These are some decent looking carrots though. You can't tell it very well here, but <clears throat> I've seen this on many of the carrots that I have pulled since feeding them the Mitt Lighter Weekly Feed for about four weeks now. As you can see this carrot, how it was starting to slim down and it would taper into a point at this point. And uh, this one is somewhat similar where it was large and then it tapered down. After feeding it the Mitt Lighter Feed, the bottom part of the root has grown substantially and on many of the carrots the carrot has split wide open like a tomato that gets too much water has split wide open and has grown a dramatic amount I can assure you that I give the credit to the Mitt Lighter weekly feed if you found this video to be helpful informative or otherwise entertaining don't forget to subscribe and as always remember to smile for a stranger today you'll both be glad you did